Someone wanted to know my procedure for making fatty popcorn, like animal fat popcorn. So here's a bunch of pig, porky pig, that's been cooking for, I don't know, like an hour or something. It's pretty fatty. I even scraped off a bit of fatty chunks and put them in the bottom of the pan. And after cooking it for an hour, oh, and I, I had a bit of water in here to help, uh, you know, help soften up some of the fat. Well, I've got a pretty good amount of fatty oil here, and now I'm just putting it into my popcorn pot. And then I'll, I'll cook popcorn just the normal way, almost the normal way. I guess I'll put it on the heat, and if it's sizzling at first, I'll wait till it's done sizzling. That means all the water will be boiled out of it. This oil looks pretty good. It's probably not going to need much sizzling. Or it's probably not going to do much sizzling. Yeah, yeah that's a pretty good amount of oil in there. Oh, good stuff. This is going to be so tasty. All right, that should all boil off the water and uh, probably a couple. Well, that's sizzling. Chop up the pig for chop suey. Make sure nothing's stuck to the bottom of the pan. Oh, this is going to be delicious. Now, if I didn't have wet wood in this fire, I wouldn't have to do this necessarily. But throw a few pieces of coconut shell in there to blaze up the fire. Coconut shell burns like crazy once it gets going. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Cover the bottom of the pan with kernels. Make sure your fire's doing good. Oh, yeah, it's hot. Of course, most people would just put their stove on high. <laughs> or maybe medium high. But crank up the heat pretty hot and then shake it a lot. A few years ago, I tried popcorn out of an air popper. Man, this stuff tastes like styrofoam. Now, the reason I turn the pot around is just in case the heat's coming up uneven. That way it'll even it out in the pot, hopefully. Ah, that should be enough shaking. It's starting to pop now.
I know, I know, I need to clean my lid. All right, when it looks like no more kernels are hitting the top, I always take the lid off. One of the important things in popcorn is to let all the steam out, let it dry out. Otherwise you get soggy popcorn. So I want as much of the steam to get out as possible. Oh, it's glistening with fat. Oh, so delicious. Guys, wait, we didn't even get the salt on there yet. Somebody get the salt, get the salt. All right, let's get the chop suey going. Once this starts sizzling, put on a bunch of, well, let's go look. Cabbage, Not onion, garlic, salted. carrots. Carrot can, you don't have to yell at her. She can eat some unsalted if she wants. Jeez, man. It's like the popcorn police over there. Nice. All right, what are the chances I can operate this camera and get this stuff in here at the same time? I'm not. Oh, let me see. Wait, put it under my armpit. All right. I'm holding the camera under my armpit. Excuse my bad cameraing. Okay, there we go. All right, I need both hands for this. <laughs> I totally dropped some. need a bigger pan. Basically simmer this for a few minutes. Oh, maybe five minutes at the most. And it should be good. Almost done. Oh, deliciosos. Hey, pigs, what happened over here? Bunch of pigs. <laughs> 